Good morning and happy Saturday. It is the last weekend of April and it's well not looking very nice. We had a little bit of rainfall yesterday evening and into the early nighttime hours. We're looking at a little bit of break between our two systems right now. Taking a look at radar that uh, cold front that moved through that field those showers and some storms across the area. I know we had some lightning and thunder here in Northwest Rochester that is off to our east well into Wisconsin at the moment this morning and taking a look at those estimated rainfall totals across the region. Not a lot of rainfall up to maybe a quarter of an inch across parts of the region. However, here at the station, I don't think we even made it to a tenth of an inch. Taking a look at our loose and out of live cameras across the region this morning. Well, we have some areas of fog, especially from our camera here in Northwest Rochester. Looking north can see some reduced visibility. Can't really see too far up from that camera. And while looking at our visibility, we are down to four miles of visibility here in Rochester, three miles of visibility in Charles City. So keep that in mind if you are out and about this morning as we're dealing with some areas of patchy fog. Those feels like temperatures, well, not very warm. Some 20s, some 30s across the region. Definitely a little bit of a chilly start for our Saturday. Taking a look at yesterday's high temperatures, well, actually not too bad before that cold front moved through. Saw high temperatures in the 60s and 70s, made it up to 69 here in Rochester. And today, well, a little bit of a change there for that high temperature. 48 degrees with isolated afternoon showers and storms across the region again for today. Winds from the northwest between 10 and 15 miles per hour. And a little bit cooler today with those high temperatures in the upper 40s and low to mid 50s. For our weather headlines, what to expect tonight? We're going to see those isolated showers continuing. Breezy conditions, we're going to see those winds really picking up tonight. Sunday is looking to be chilly with rain and a little bit of wintry mix. Chances may see some snow for parts of the area. Next week, though, we are going to see the return of seasonal temperatures. So something to look forward to there. Not, not going to be warm by any means, but a little bit better than 40s and 50s that we're looking at for this weekend. Future track heading through today will by about 930 when more people are awake from seeing just cloudy conditions. Those temperatures in the 30s and 40s, those air temperatures, those feels like temperatures not going to quite be there for this afternoon. Starting to see kind of some stray to isolated showers picking up again across the region. Mason City looking to see some rainfall by about 630 Then looking to see that continue with a little bit of a break heading into early Sunday. Before, look at that, we got some snow before we see some scattered snowfall push across the area. However, like I said, not looking to pick up a ton of snowfall over the next 24 hours. Upcoming precipitation chances today we're looking at uh, mostly, or tomorrow we're looking at scattered wintry mix across the region possibly picking up maybe a tenth of an inch of snowfall, light dusting across the area, just kind of a pesky snowfall. And then for Monday, looking to see some uh, stray morning isolated wintry mix. So something to keep in mind there. However, we are going to see some partly cloudy skies on Monday after that system moves out. For our precipitation forecast over the next five days or really the next couple of days, not looking at much precipitation across the area maybe up to a quarter of an inch. For tonight, a low of 35 degrees, isolated showers with increasing winds. Winds throughout today, not going to be too bad, but through the overnight hours, we are going to see those sustained winds from about 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to about 35 miles per hour possible. Low temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, so definitely going to be quite chilly tonight, especially with those breezy conditions, wind chills not going to be very warm. And then for tomorrow, high 43 degrees, scattered rain snow mix, with wind gusts up to about 40 miles per hour. Those high temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Definitely not going to be a very nice day for our Sunday. For our extended forecast, seeing those breezy conditions sticking around with us Monday and Tuesday, gusts up to about 35 to 40 miles per hour Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. However, we are going to see some sunshine as we head into the middle of the upcoming week and some warmer temperatures with those temperatures making their way back into the middle 60s by next Wednesday and Thursday. So something to keep in mind there. It's going to be cold this weekend, but we are going to see a little bit of a break coming up. All right. Thank you, Sora. So what I'm hearing is next week should feel a little bit more like spring, right? Kind of. It's not the 80s that we saw, but it's going to be better. Okay. All right. I, w I wasn't quite ready for the 80s, but I am ready for a nice 65 and sunny. Yes. Yes. All right.